How's it going guys? Jordan here from Vizcom. Just wanted to do this really quick tutorial going over a just organic workflow from start to finish. Um, starting from just a really simple prompt, drawing over it, going over some of the really basic tools and some of the mental models and frameworks to really start thinking about of your prompts and how the prompts come through in the final image. So the first thing you're going to do is, you know, when you're in the application is create a new file and I'm just going to click create here. And you'll see we start off with a blank canvas. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here to the right side of the screen. You'll see it says create. And this is the actual creation tab. There's two tabs over here. And this is where you can actually start creating stuff. And I'm going to type in a prompt. And a prompt is simply a combination of words that describe what it is you're trying to create. So for example, if we come over here and we just type off something generic. Just say off-road vehicle design concept. We, we click that, render, and then what I'm going to do is turn drawing influence to zero. I'll, just, I'll, I'll talk about why, and the number of images we want is four. This is going to take a minute. And so what's, what's going on here? We have off-road vehicle design concept. So off-road and vehicle. So off-road is the first word, and a prompt is basically, you can think of it as priority goes in the front and things you want to come out in the, the, the least amount in the image are towards the end. So design and concept are just areas that we want the image to kind of be in, but you'll see off-road and vehicle will be very prominent in the final renderings because they're kind of early on in the prompt. So it's kind of this order of importance. So you'll see here we're starting to get some really crazy kind of off-road vehicle design concepts. Um, and they're all kind of just like, yeah, quite literally off-road. So we can come in here, you can see we got some really cool backgrounds, some bushes, some different details, and all kind of different just off-road vehicle design concepts. So I'm going to come over here. I actually really like this one. This one's crazy. So I'm going to oops, move this and click confirm. So cool. So now we got some kind of vehicle design concept that we actually like. And so, for example, one thing we can do is come over here to our layers and create a new layer. So I already have my Wacom tablet here. I have my pen. And now we can actually start drawing in some different details and things that we might be want to see come out inside of our render. So let's say I actually want, um, I'm going to color pick. So you can color pick with the option key or alt on the Windows, if you're on a Windows computer. Um, and then right click anywhere to bring up your brush settings. So I'm going to come over here and it's very similar to Photoshop. Change the opacity. So we created a new layer to draw on top of. And let's actually come over here, color pick this. And maybe we want something kind of like like this, for example. Color pick this. Something kind of more like the white part of the car comes out. So yeah, we're going to do that. And then just kind of create this like this. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, so we want something more so like that on the front, per se. And uh, yeah, let's just leave it like that for now. So now what we're going to do is make sure that we're actually in refine mode, because we just kind of want to just refine the idea that we have. We don't want to change maybe too much. So I'm going to change the drawing influence maybe to like 40%, generate four more, and make sure that we're in refine mode with the same prompt. And then I'm just going to generate four more of these. And then I'm going to give more examples of how the prompt and things you can change about it can give you totally different results. Okay, cool. So we're getting some like, yeah, cool. So yeah, I kind of like some of these. So we're getting some things that are, they look a little bit more mushy, of course, but it's starting to slowly refine some of my original ideas and give me more ideas actually on top of it. So I really like this one per se. I like this one right here. So I'm going to confirm and then I'm going to change this to one, change my drawing influence maybe to 60 and generate on top of it again. Because I want to kind of narrow in even more on this particular idea. And to do that, you just kind of keep sending in that generation. So I kind of like this one. I'm going to confirm here, go to my brush tool. It looks a little bit asymmetrical. So I'm going to come over here and just fix that slightly like that. Okay, cool. 
So we kind of have this really interesting off-road vehicle unfolding in front of us. I'm gonna go back into render mode and then show you guys some other ways that you can use the prompt to modify some of the things that we see here. So right now, the prompt is just off-road vehicle design concept. We didn't really give it a lot of information about what it is we want. But say we want this to be a blue, oh, whoops, caps lock. So we want this to be a blue off-road vehicle design concept, and we want this to be in the snow. Those are two new elements that we want to see. And we want to make our drawing influence around, let's say, 85 to 90% because we really want some of the things that we have on the canvas to influence some of these. Let's change it to 90% and generate four. I'm just going to fast forward this so you guys don't have to wait. Okay, cool. Awesome. Very interesting. So yeah, so it took some of my original concepts. I really like some of these colors it came up with, actually. These are super, super cool. This kind of like Arctic blue. It's really kind of fitting the aesthetics of what I was really shooting for here. So yeah, I'm actually gonna just straight up confirm this one. And now if we just kind of go through our layers really quick, just to kind of take a break and really realize how did we really get here? So we turn off the layer, we get from here to here, made this change here. So we started with our prompt, off-road vehicle, right? Then we painted over it with just our brush tool of color picking. Then we went into the refine mode and prompt on top of that to kind of get a aesthetic that we liked. We did two generations there. So we generated once, added it to the canvas, and generated it once more because we made some changes on top because we noticed it was unsymmetrical as well. And then we went to render mode and we rendered that out because we wanted it to be blue and then we also wanted it to be in the snow. Um, so, but what if we only want to change just particularly the front? I kind of want to try different front areas and really understand kind of what we can do there. So what I'm going to do is come up here to the top, or you can press G on the keyboard and click the end painting tool. And this is basically like your lasso tool you would see in Photoshop. You can kind of lasso anywhere like this. So I'm going to kind of only lasso the front area here. And then I'm also going to keep this kind of, I'm going to change my prompt because I want to see very different fronts. I'm going to say I want to see sharp, dynamic, futuristic vehicle design concept. I want to see something just completely different from what I have and change my drawing influence down to maybe 10% because I really want my prompt to be strong here. So I'm going to generate four and then fast forward to this and then let's click through and observe what happens. All right, awesome. So you'll see we got some really wild fronts here. And this one is actually super cool. So some of these are not so much my favorites. I'm not a big fan of a lot of these, but I actually really like this one. So I'm actually gonna come in here, keep this, click confirm. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I was just gonna kind of show you guys how you can maybe get some like headlamps and things, but this video is being a little bit lengthy. So just wanted to keep this super simple and short. And if you ever wanna know where your renders are that we all just went through, um, what you can do is come down to this bottom right tab here and you'll see the history tab. So we come over here, click this, 